my name is Abigail Newland. I'm the Prevention Specialist for Service Area 13 for Preferred Family. This is just going to be a quick video just talking about maybe a little bit of the difference between an LOC, MOU, and CIA. Um, maybe why those coalitions would use these documents. So the first one here is a letter of commitment. Um, this is the highest level of commitment in the sense of document that's not legally binding. Um, you might use this as a coalition if you're writing for a federal grant. Um, or working on a big project. Most often it's gonna deal with grant writing or funding um, proposals. We have these templates available. Um, so if you contact your prevention specialist, we can always get those to you because they're very self-explanatory. You can always find a template to use. It doesn't have to be a lot. Um, make sure that this top part is consistent if you're doing multiple partners or having multiple LLCs filled out. And then we always wanna get that back on the letterhead of the organization to make it seem more um, personal. The next one is a mem memorandum of understanding. And so this one again is not legally binding. This one you would just maybe use for upcoming events. Um, it just explains both parties' responsibilities, which is really great, lays it out for you. Uh, this one might take a little work, kind of figuring out with both parties together who's responsible for what, um, what commitment is where, things like that. This is just a really great document. It's a friendlier version of a contract. So one party doesn't end up taking on more responsibility than the other or doing something that you obviously didn't agree to. So again, just to secure resources, partners for initiatives, events coming up, things like that. This is just a tool coalitions might wanna use. The last one here is a coalition involvement agreement. The last one here is a coalition involvement agreement. And this one is basically just for members that join your coalition to sign and put a little bit of their info in. And they're basically just saying that they are willing to represent their sector in the community. So whether they're a government official or a local business owner or a parent, um, a school board member, things like that. And this is just a great tool that coalitions can lean back on later. Um, so if they need volunteers or if they're looking to work on certain parts of the community, they can always look and see who they have in the organization from that sector, um, whether it's church, community, business, law enforcement, wherever. So this is the lowest level of agreement. A lot of coalitions don't use these, but they are really great. That tool is there if you ever decide you do want to use it. Again, we can provide you with these templates. But if you guys have any questions, let us know and we will help you and we'll help you use these documents if needed. Thanks.